The placenta is a temporary organ that grows during pregnancy to filter oxygen, blood, and nutrients to your baby. After you give birth, you will also deliver your placenta shortly after. Sometimes all, or part of the placenta stays in the womb. This is called a retained placenta and it can have serious side effects. After your baby is born, you will usually deliver your placenta within 18 to 60 minutes. Your uterus contracts, which pulls the placenta away from the wall of your uterus, and pushes it out. Sometimes this doesn't happen, and the most common reason for a retained placenta is not enough contractions in the uterus. At times you might push out most of it, however, some pieces of the placenta can be stuck inside. This can cause symptoms that take a while to show up, such as delayed and heavy bleeding, blood clots, fever, chills, feeling sick or flu-like, foul-smelling vaginal discharge. If you have heavy bleeding and blood clots at home, make sure to keep your pads and show them to your doctor right away. They may want to check for placenta tissue. Serious side effects of a retained placenta include life-threatening bleeding. If your placenta is not delivered, it can cause life-threatening bleeding called hemorrhaging. Infection. If the placenta, or pieces of the placenta, stay inside your uterus, you can develop an infection. A retained placenta or membrane has to be removed, and you will need to see your doctor right away. If you have major bleeding, this is a medical emergency, and you should go to your nearest hospital immediately. Breastfeeding. Your doctor, midwife, or nurse will likely ask you to start breastfeeding your baby as soon as possible after you give birth. This is because breastfeeding makes your uterus contract and is a natural process that will help prevent a retained placenta. Changing positions. Your doctor might ask you to roll to the side or to squat. Changing positions can help your uterus contract and push out your placenta. Massage. After delivery, your doctor might massage your abdomen to help it contract. This can feel uncomfortable, but can be helpful. Abdominal massage is often used after your second birth. This is because your uterus might not contract very well if you've had several births. Medication. If these methods don't work, your doctor might give you a shot of medicine that will make the uterus contract and help you deliver your placenta. Manual removal. If your doctor diagnoses you with a retained placenta, they may want to remove the placenta by hand. They will often try another method first. Your doctor will give you an epidural or anesthetic medicine and manually separate the placenta inside the uterus. Surgery. If massage, medication, or other options don't work, your doctor might decide to do surgery. You will have an operation to safely remove the placenta. If the placenta has grown into the uterus wall and invaded other tissues, you may need to have your uterus removed.